Hi, welcome to NX11 video tutorial. I want to do the plastic basket now in a much simpler way. So let's have fun with NX11. Okay, so let's go for a sketch. I need a spline. So go for spline. And this might look something like this and confirm. Now this point should be on that axis coincident and that axis and that spline should be tangent. Now let's add some dimensions. This point to that axis the distance might be 50 the distance from that point to that axis might be 150 and that distance might be 150 as well let's take a look yeah adjust it a little bit Maybe like this. Finish this sketch. Now I need a point set. So I go for a point set. And that should be on a, on a curve. Curve points equal arc length. And that would be the curve. And I need 10 points. And OK. Now another sketch on the same plane. And I want to project that points into my sketch plane. I could use these points as well. So let's try. I need some circles. Diameter should be 2. So let's go right here. Diameter is 2. And next one should be right there on that point. Existing point, another one, existing point, existing point, existing point. System point, system point, system point, and system point, and one right here again on an existing point. And okay. Now let's finish the sketch and make a revolve. Okay, so go to revolve with that sketch. That's possible. The axis should be the set. See, that's okay. No, it isn't. The vector. And the point would be zero 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 and confirm so let's take a look go to the bodies and you will see you got a whole lot of bodies ten bodies just take note go back to time span order now I want to use that sketch again. I will make a revolve with that sketch with this one. Set Z axis, yes, point is zero zero zero. And I want to go for a solid 
but with an offset. So go for two-sided offset, and that would be, for example, 0 0.0, minus 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. And OK. Make sure Boolean operation is none. OK. Now let's hide the bodies. I could hide this revolve and that revolve because they're in separate bodies altogether. And hide the point set as well. And I could use uh, this sketch, that curve again. I need a plane. So go for a plane, datum plane make it on curve, that's the curve, and the arc length is 0. So it's normal to path, OK. And I want to have a sketch right on that plane, OK. And you could project that point, it just could select it. So go for a sketch, circle on that point, and that would be to in diameter. Finish that sketch. Maybe hide the plane. Now let's do a swept with that profile along that curve. Fixed, constant and OK. Let's hide the sketch. And hide this sketch as well. And now make a circular pattern. Go for more pattern geometry. I want to pattern this geometry. Circular. That would be the same axis as before. So that's 0, 0, 0. And let's say 48 with 360 degrees. Count and span. And OK. So I've got a whole lot of bodies. Just check. See, many, many bodies. And some are hidden at the moment. Go back to timestamp order. Now I want to show these. And hide the second revolve, this one. Now I want to make a union of all these bodies. So go to Unite, select for example that body right here, and all the others as tool. This will take a while, as in the other solution. The body operations are kind of slow, because there are a whole lot of bodies. And OK. And then I will intersect this united body with the revolve body. That's only one. So with this one. OK. So go for intersect. Select this target. This one. And the tool should be that one. Again. This will take a while. And confirm. And I'm done. So, hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, give it a like, leave a nice comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Facebook cat page. Would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one, which will be the cat here, simple solution, which is almost the same as this one. Bye bye.